So welcome back everybody. This is Paul again from BestStuffToBuy.com and today I'm going to go over a bunch of products that I like because I'm a fan of aviation and do a lot of flying and take lessons and so on. And pilots have to be very very careful about what they put in the plane because of weight and quality. So I'm going to go over some things today that are basically just for pilots. And if you're an entrepreneur, a lot of this stuff here might be very very useful to you too. So. First of all, get yourself a really good bag. This one's by Timberland. I actually picked it up at a yard sale in great shape for just uh, like a fraction of what it normally costs. And I'm going to put a lot of stuff in here that I would recommend just because rather than go into detail about each product, I wanted to just quickly go through a bunch of really good things here that pilots need. Number one, you're definitely going to need some pens and pencils. You really have to write down stuff in aviation because there's... Uh, a lot of frequencies and, and all kinds of information that you really need to know. So what I have is a little bag here and you know keep my things organized and just easy access and very colorful so it, and it won't bother if it gets wet and I put my all my pens and so on together in one place and I have a little notebook in here and in this notebook I have little special information and popular used frequencies and you got to have, like I said, things to write things down in, and this is a great little booklet by a company named Shoutlet, I guess. And, you know, there's a lot of things like this. I put this in one section here. Now, a lot of pilots, especially if they want to do any uh, flying in the bush country, a wind meter. Very lightweight, very inexpensive by Lacrosse, this one. And I got it on eBay, and it'll give me a top wind speed, an average speed, and it'll also show me the temperature. So I throw that guy in there. And, you know... I'm a big fan of just having some things around to hold yourself and you know I pack a little bit of rope in here This is parachute cord because sometimes uh, you never know in case you have some kind of an incident you need some rope uh, for example if you have uh, get down in the forest or something like that because of some um, Mechanical failure or so on again a pair of sunglasses good ones get some good ones um, I have, uh, this is a great little pen that I use, it's made by Pentagon and it's shaped like an airplane, very comfortable, it can be used in left or right hand, so I take this along, and I have, um, of course, more pencils, very important, get a, a flashlight or two, it might not hurt to have two. If you want to do your calculations uh, for your wind correction and your density altitude and so on, you need some kind of a calculator. Now this one is by Jeppesen and it's the CR3. And you know, once you can figure it out, the basics that you need to calculate, uh, it's not that difficult. On the other hand, you can use an iPhone like this and it has a great a number of great products and apps for that. Um, I personally am a really big fan of the lanyard. A lanyard came about because once upon a time people would carry their sextant on a ship and boy you didn't have very many of those and uh, if you lose it forget it. So they would attach it themselves using a lanyard. Now I've come up with a little system here that I use. I have this lanyard here as you can see and it has a retractable cord here and this also can clip onto something and I'll show you in a minute what I clip that to. And then I have a really good pen, very simple, and I, I can clip this and take it apart or put it back on and I put this around my neck and I also have a little sheaf of paper here where I can put in any frequencies I might need to write down so that goes around my neck and then in addition I have a little system and I use an additional product like this this I think I got from AOPA it's a very lightweight clipboard it has a lot of inf interesting information and important stuff on the front and the back and it's useful and very durable so what I combine this with is I I hook this around my neck and then I have another lanyard in which I clip this clipboard that way this thing sits on my lap and if it falls off my lap for some reason I don't need to worry about it it's not going to go very far because it's right there attached to me and you know if I want to have a little bit more uh, substance in my navigation tools at my disposal. Let's say I'm going to a cross-country trip. I have a second clipboard that I use and this one is transparent. I have my runway diagram on the back for the airport and I have my plotter and this has a little sleeve which is really really great. So what I can do is I can put my my map Let's say this is a great map I got for, that's cross country in up in Alaska, Alaskan Highway. I put that on there, and then with the two uh, lanyards that I have, 
I connect both of these clipboards together. So I, if I want to have my navigation across country and I need this information right near me, then I ha attach it. Otherwise, I unclip it and put it on the seat next to me. And this one here, even if you're in a towered airport, there's a lot of reasons why you want to have your flight plan, you want to have your waypoints, you want to have your diagrams, you want to have your clearances and your weather all right there, like I said. And what I do is I put this stuff in here like this. And I put my lanyards in here. Here's another kind of lanyard. And this I got in an air aviation seminar. And it, uh, it has a little clip on it. And there's a bunch of little clips attached to this. So you can put keys or whatnot on it. It's a great little system here. I haven't filled, uh, found a, a great use for it in my present system at the moment. I've used some of these little clips. Uh, but this is a very handy gadget. Another thing to put in my bag would be a little light and radio, so if something happens, God forbid, especially if you're going to be doing any bush flying, so I throw that in there. I put these near, where all the stuff that I need immediately, when I get to the plane, I just open this up and bang, I got this stuff. Now, I have another system that I use for my cross-country navigation, and in here I would put some more additional flight plans. A spare compass, which is always great. Let's say I want to be out in the field and I don't want to get in the plane and start it up. I just want to take a, a wind heading indicator or so on. This is a little speed calculator where you set it for how, how fast you're going and you lay it on a sectional scale and it'll tell you how many minutes. Very uh, simple calculator and very easy to use. I have some additional flight plans and calculators and some runway safety and things like that information. And a good plastic sleeve like this is always comes in handy. I have another pen duplicate and it's attached to this permanently so then I close this up so between the three items basically three little laptop things that I use for my uh, flying now another thing you definitely want to have is a nice pad of paper some colored markers maybe a clip or two for clipping your documents together or papers and I found this little gadget at a show I was at and it's made by Glove Light and there's a red and, and a green version of it. And you put this on like this and you can put it on whatever fingers you want but it shines down where you're going to um, write. Or you can just shine it around inside the cockpit to see your gauges should something go out there and you have to do that. Now again I like to carry a little bit of tape. You never know things happen. Um, I found a little lock here. This lock fits on this bag. There's the segments here. If I had something more valuable, then I would lock it uh, for travel. I have a book here, Visualize Flight Maneuvers. Now, this is really great because I haven't done all these, eights on pylons and so on, but boy, I tell you, it's a, a constant education being a pilot, so it helps to have this stuff around because even if you've already studied it, it'll help remind you. Uh, and there's never uh, such a thing as too much practice in aviation. Post-it notes for clearances. Various kinds of gauges, whichever you prefer. These are uh, plotters for plotting your routes and different scales and your angle and your heading and so on. I like to have uh, my map uh, all set up for me when I travel. So I actually bought two maps and I have both sides taped together. So that means that I have an entire large area on one side and I can just fold it into the section that I want to be using at that moment. Now just to conclude here, just a little fun thing. I found this little thing once upon a time. This was the top thing in aviation for pilots in, in a military jet craft in the early 50s. And this is a great little uh, system here. It has a light here, a red that shines in here. Two pencils, a pencil sharpener. And when you close it, there's a light here. And you can see a circle here of a light where you can plot your headings and so on. And some places to write all your different frequencies and so on and altitudes and waypoints. So thanks again for watching and another segment in beststufftobuy.com. Thank you.